Ian Connor was like flaming Bari, and I guess they've just had like a really bad relationship in the last like maybe five, four, four, five years. You know, the words through the great vines. Somebody dropped a crazy bag on Central C's lap, so he would make. Uh, the transport from Brisbane, listen but, out to Promised Land I mean, in the Gold Coast. Right. There should be some way for like the organisers to suss out their visas within that mm. time to make sure that they can come yeah. or not. Because I mean, half, it's half of it, half of it is like half of it is like fucking like you know criminal charges in yeah, America. But it- Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the World Us Podcast presented by Ever Defining, recorded at Six Degree Studios. I am Kay Lisa. I'm Gene. D-A-D Skin Sane. Jeez, that was had a rough day. Yeah. That was a rough tonight. Sorry, sorry, I smoked too many blunts. Yeah. <laughs> no, now I was about to say, um, you sounded like somebody that smoked. Yeah. White Ox or some shit. Nah, Rome Street <laughs> dropped an album, so I've just been smoking blunts and listening to that and drinking 40s and wearing Timberland boots. <laughs> he actually dropped it like last week. But that's all right. Timberland boots and jorts. Yeah, yeah, and, and then, jorts. And then, and then, like the scully, ha- scully cap low. Tim's yeah. and no socks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's sweaty. Who would wear <laughs> socks with Tim's? <laughs> um, no bills this week. Uh, believe it or not, he thought we had another week off. <laughs> that's so he's on a holiday. He made no. So he made other plans, thinking that yeah. next week was when we returned. Well, think about it this way though. That two week went so quick. Yeah, we had so we had a two week hiatus. Obviously, if you don't know. You, Probably wouldn't know because we haven't uploaded. Yeah. But we didn't tell you guys. We just did it because we needed to know it. When, um, when Jean messaged, like, are we on today? Like, I, like, nearly messaged yeah. that when I got up to go to work this morning, which is, like, at, like, at about 7 yeah. o'clock. So you were, you were excited to <laughs> come back. I was keen, yeah. bro. Well, Bill said this he was, too. what I for, Bill, Brandon. Bill, Bill said he was, um, he was actually, like, he, like, he was, like, so yeah. he was trying to figure out if he could rearrange plans to actually be here tonight, but. No, he thing. thought no, like yeah yeah, yeah it's so um, it's hard for him bro yeah I mean he's got a he's got a family and a, a, a whole bunch of other different responsibilities yeah, other than yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out the big dog shout out to Bills it's oh. been a while since all four of us been here but we are here we got cl- like, this is our thirty ninth episode oh my we have god over, thirty nine we have this will be take us because we have point five episodes with rea- like different reviews and things we've got mm. over forty episodes out now. <laughs> So that's, that's uh, maybe close to 50 hours of content for you yeah. guys that we've delivered you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. If you're not engaging with us in the comments, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. We got 60 hours worth of like podcasts. Like, yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Like there's we've 60 done a, plus. You're welcome. We've done it. And, and there's going to be a whole lot more to come. And um, I guess I can now finally say uh, go check out. The Spanian in the bag with Ooh. Culture Kings. Yeah. Um, with your I, one and I, only, K. Lisa. Yeah, you know what I mean? To, uh, it is insane. Yeah, I got to. It in, is insane. Yeah, cool, I got bro. to interview Spanian for the in the bag series. That Many more coming. Uh, Don't worry you know, about presented that. Presented by Culture Kings. Yeah, there's more on the way. There's um, So make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe over there. Mm-hmm. Um, Hopefully the next one you actually look tall because you look short yeah, compared do, to that I fucking do. guy. Bro. And you're not, you're, not a, you're not a short person. Yeah, no, you know no, no he's, he's a tall guy. guy. I think That's he's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, wow. six, six, something like that. Built like a brick shit. What shoes was, was, was he wearing? Yeah, uh, Asics, oh, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Fire. But um, these guys as well, subscribe because these guys actually did a reaction to it. Yes. Best so, reaction yeah. video on YouTube right now. Oh, well, when yeah. it comes out. Yeah. You know, I can get used to reacting stuff, man. Mm. Yeah, you know yeah so uh, the guy, the guys enjoyed it so much that we'll be doing more of them. Yeah, for sure. There'll be more on the way. Um, well, you have to. Yeah, so. It'd be just, rude not to. Do guys, it. there's going to be so much content coming. You know, we've been talking about the food mm. reviews. We've been talking about a whole bunch of different things. It's all on the way. We promise, sure. we promise, we promise. But, um, but yeah, how's everyone feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, man. I feel I had a little really late start today. Yeah, yeah. So, this is like my afternoon. It's the afternoon for you now. Yeah. yeah. Different, different studio different hours. Times that, yeah, you know? I didn't get home until like 3 a.m. this morning. So, I was like, eh. Facts. How about you? How about you? That's insane. I went to the pub straight after work. Oh, yeah, me and him had a sushi had, date. Had a few. Oh, so you had a sushi date? Yeah, 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 we had a sushi date. 
Yep. And I didn't um I didn't take random pieces off the sushi thing. I actually took the full oh. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Yeah, I was about to say you haven't told the podcast this story. Okay, so yeah. story time story time with Dead Skin Saint. That might be a podcast coming out soon. Okay, so <laughs> how ignorant am I? So in New Zealand, because obviously I'm from New Zealand, we don't have sushi trains there. Well, where I'm from they don't. So when I first when I first got here, 2011, like I went to my, I was like, oh, I want sushi. So I went to a sushi train, and then I seen this like conveyor belt thing. So like what I thought was, because there was no like rules or like what you do. So no I thought I could like take like a piece off and then put it on like my plate. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear the story. <laughs> no, so like so like I was just like, okay, sweet. So this happened at three different joints. And then on the third one, they were like, no, you have to take the whole plate off. So it took me three different <laughs> visits to different sushi trains for them to fucking tell me, bro. Oh, mommy, you and be- the first one was actually across the road, bro. That's no crazy. word of a lie. No word of a lie. And they're like, oh, no, nah, it's all good. And the second That's person, no, nah, good. The third one, they're like, bro, you can't fucking do this. That's funny. <laughs> How ignorant am I, bro? <laughs> but you need to clip this and let the people know, like, if, if that this has ever, ever, ever happened to you, yeah. first time going yeah, sushi train. How long, on, How long did it take for you to get the content? of a sushi train because there's no rules bro they don't have it on the door when you walk in bro why would you not have like the fucking thing on the door bro to let you know (laughs) we're not psychic my g oh wow what a story you're welcome sorry (laughs) (laughs) no it's a worthy story it's a worthy story um so that that takes us to our segment that we always have uh five on it one two three four Uh, five shout out to keegan for the amazing intro that's about to play right now uh, so Gene, what is your five on it for this week? Five on it, man. I'll probably have to go Thames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- you didn't really have a five. I don't know. I don't know. Who know that? Who like? Hmm. Yeah, I who didn't, didn't have that? anything but the fir- very first person <laughs> that um, head, yeah. was Thames because I've just been playing non-stop. like playing her nonstop since like maybe uh, two weeks ago, bro. Hey, it's worthy. I don't know. If she's it's fully crazy. been, uh, you know. Uh, Properly, yeah, you know, giving her flowers for yeah. the run of the last. But you, know, you always talk two, about it two to four mm. years. But you always talk about it too. I do hope like Thames comes in next it. next year. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is, that a, is that a surprise? I don't know. Oh. I don't know, man. Is that a is that a drop in the news early? Um, hey. I don't know, bro. Yeah. I, I, I heard I heard the I heard some rumors through the great vines, but. Let's let's hope though that if it happens, it it, it, it could be amazing. You know? Just letting yeah. you know, you'll see her on my Instagram before you see her on Jeans, and then yeah. he'll release it officially. <laughs> <laughs> that actually takes us to a topic that I didn't write down, but anyway. Um, so that's insane. Uh, five on it for Yo, this week. Yo, five on it. Um, the most repaired guy for five on it, might I? Yeah, add yeah, yeah. So I feel like you just have this in the back of your mind. Yeah. Bro. What do I have, G? What do I have? I have so many. Yo, um, shout out another artist. I know I've shouted out like a lot of like actual like um like painting artists and stuff, but shout out Mariella um Angela. She is like this triple OG um portrait painter from like America. She's done Benny she's done actual cover art for the albums for like Benny's last like two, three oh well, last album slash two mixtapes she's insane she paints stuff for like west side gun if you watch like um, buffalo kids gallery you'll see all her stuff in there like she calls she makes fun of um west side gun by his first name <laughs> she is so fucking cool uh, working with her doing some like cool shit for work so like shout out her come on Black now. Dope. She's dope. worldwide she's dope. dead she's skin dope. worldwide wait till you see this <laughs> shit uh, you see what we're doing out here you see what well buzz boys <laughs> are doing out say? here what can, wait wait till you see the painting right yeah <laughs> tough tough i haven't even seen it who's your um five on it uh yeah so my five on it is gonna go to la russell i don't know if you guys are familiar with la russell He's no, tell, him tell me up. about his um his his figures and stuff his Sorry. album sale <laughs> oh uh yeah so he did a full independent um album similar to nipsey mm. like proud to pay type thing but online so from you america could, yeah so oh, he, yeah. he's from the bay area so you could oh, um you could literally choose to pay any amount that you wanted mm. online, and you got the album. So Bandcamp, like uh, so Bandcamp or not? No, Bandcamp? no, it's it's on a whole different. Um, oh, sick! It's on a whole different platform. Oh, is it a new one? It's a new one. Oh, that's sick! Um, and he released it a whole week before his album actually came out. 
Um, and he's fully independent. He preaches independence, yeah. like a real big guy, uh, advocate for independent artists. But um, so he ended up just alone on that on that one week of doing the sales. Um, he sold two thousand five hundred albums. The average album sale, because you can choose what you mm. pick, was around twenty four dollars wow. for the album. How many songs um, on the album, though? Sorry. I think it's like maybe 12 or 13. Fuck, that's album. good. Um, and then the accounts created to get the album was 5,200. So 5,200 wow. people signed up for it. And he ended up making $60,000 wow. on an album that wasn't even out yet. You, on know what's cra- you know what's crazy though? Like you say accounts made. Imagine like the CRM and all the data that they would have gotten with the emails, you know? Yeah. I feel like getting emails is one of like those tools in the well, business that. I really do necessary like necessary thing yeah, to have, you yeah, know. Yeah. I do like the idea of this uh this platform is called Even um Even Biz. So mm. you know, I definitely would advise a lot of different independent artists to go. So the, basically the statistics said here, you know, since 20, 2020, La Russell has made $30,000 from streaming revenue. So he pretty much doubled his mm. money for giving Mm. His Crazy. fans, yeah. the album a week before it comes out, Crazy. and stemming and off doubled the amount of money that he made off PSPs. Yeah. Stemming off years. that, you know what I mean? Like we, if we think about the years or the decades that have gone past from 2000 to 2010, we've seen the transition from CDs and MP3 players into mm. Apple iTunes and purchasing digitally. Mm. Um, purchasing music digitally and then we've seen from 2010 to like around now we've had streaming services mm. you know what i mean we don't buy cool. we like itunes is like obsolete and i think we're in this period of time where we could be seeing another transition from streaming into going back into something yeah. like that where yeah. you purchase an album but it's up to you how much you want to pay yeah, you know well, I, mean? I think Damn, it's bank. hard because I think the art's gone, like taking a turn for the worst because of how mm. much people get paid via this new way of people mm. listening to music. Like, I think you could, you could do like a dollar, yeah, and, yeah, and download yeah. like a fucking, but it'd still be more than what you make off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. DSPs like Bandcamp, like Bandcamp was is exactly the same, and mm. that's where like fucking like like shout out Alchemist, shout out like Knowledge. That's where like they made their most money because like. Alchemist was like this old rapper that only thought he could do shit through this one way, mm. and then knowledge showed him that like, yo, like look at my band camp. Like I would throw up something, f- four song fucking EP, and I'm getting like maybe like four dollars a song, or I'm getting four dollars for sick. like a four song thing. Yeah. Like you know, it's still money, and yeah. it's straight into your PayPal yeah. cash. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely think like you know, if it might not be that, but I feel like we are due to like I guess. To transition into something else from streaming. Yeah, the thing is with th- that, something like what we talked about with that even biz, mm. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Spotify and all these places just it have it as within their, like on their platforms. Yeah, I 100% but, agree um, with that. But, but yeah, I don't I, know. The I, value, feel like the value. That's, I feel like that's years off though. Nah, I feel, I feel I like they don't so. have it. It's not going to be mean, fucking tomorrow. I I don't think so, bro. You look at like TikTok, TikTok and, yeah, and then everyone started Instagram, doing reels and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like YouTube, yeah. You have to adjust with the times, but I mean, yeah. Like anyway, La Russell, he's he's just a he's just a yeah. hustler as well. Like, yeah. bro. So I cut you off. Yeah, what were you gonna say about? Yeah, La he Russell? just puts a, a whole bunch of like content like every day. Yeah. What kind like, of rap? Does, what kind of rap? Bay Area. Oh yeah, so, yeah. so but yeah. it's it, he's more like. West think Coast. of think of like a Kendrick from the Bay yeah. that oh, keeps Ish. the Bay that keeps like the Bay Area yeah. sound as well. I should be sick if he got jumped on a joint with fucking E Forty or something. Um, I think he's going. already got one um, oh, yeah, from yeah. a while while ago, but he's like full independent, yeah. like bro, sick. like literally built a, like cool. pa- a, a pagola in the back of his house to do show. Like he does a show at his house. That's dope. Oh, that's Has right. his dad do like a barbecue. And oh, now he's got like full cookout shit. Yeah, he's got That's like uh, I don't know if you know all the smoke podcasts with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. What's his name? Ex NBA players. Mm-hmm. What's his name? But they everyone comes out, uh La Russell. But everyone like the people are going to his house. Like Chance the Rapper's like, I, I need <laughs> to come out to like one of your shows. That's at, awesome. at the house. So like yeah, go check out La Russell. He's For sure. the stuff uh, he's doing, yeah. like he's like Russ as well. Like mm. You know, Ooh, like I know, not a fan. Nah. No, no, but that's, a, that, that's <laughs> what I was, was going to say. Is like with uh, La Russell, like 
you don't have to be a fan of the music, but you're going to appreciate the hustle, hustle and the business and, acumen yeah. that he has about him because yeah, he actually, hot. like, puts in the groundwork and For actually, sure. you know, does something. So I that's cool, man. I downloaded that, I downloaded that playlist. Don't worry. That, that's going to be my drive home, Lil Russell. Yeah, Lil yeah, Russell, yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Russell. So. Is it La Russell or Lil Russell? Yeah, so La. L.A. Yeah, and then Russell. Russell. Yeah, yeah. L-A-R-U-S-S-E. So, yeah. So, um. Yeah, that takes us to the re- regular scheduled For sure. uh, programming. So, this is what I actually was going to mention when we were talking mm. about you uh, insinuating that there might be a show coming up. Mm. So, we missed out, but there was a festival season and there was a oh my juggling God. of acts. Oh, hold on. It's a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> if if you were to go to that, oh, are we that. talking so, about the thing? Are we talking about the so? Thing? Listen out was fine. Yeah. Nothing yeah. else has happened for listen out yeah. like close up to the event, but promised land. So on the lead up to promised land, the week prior, mm. Burner Boy was announced that he wasn't coming. Yeah, and then the day before, the day of Tion, oh Wayne yeah, Tion Wayne couldn't make it. Couldn't make it yeah. because of As these well. issues. Visa. Yeah, bro. Um, that sucks, man. Because you, you're gonna realize like these organizers work like pretty much probably a year or two years or more than a couple of years to get these act to get get acts to perform to Australia. But in saying that too, yeah. right? Apparently, like Burner Boy was like already like um, yeah, I did see this. He yeah. had he had announced tour mm. dates elsewhere at the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, which facts, is fucky, yeah. bro. Shout out Fooney, he told yeah. me this shit. So like that, that sort sucks, of fucky. I, it's 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 hard. Like I feel. Like, it's a it's a weird one with these uh like Australian events, like, yeah. Because it seems like it's hard because the the audience, like everyone in Australia, is starting to not believe in festivals. Well, yeah, like it's happened so the many promoters, times. They don't yeah. believe, yeah, like because it happens all the time. And especially when like, especially when like, there's been a few a few um. A few like festivals that have come up, mm. they're like are too good to be true. Yeah, and people are like, nah, that's fake. Well, yeah. how many like, times? Like, even from like Instagram, bro, like yeah. not even like no context at all. Mm. They're like, nah, that's fake. And, and I'm like, bro, it's fucking happening. And they're like, nah, G. Yeah. Well, how many times has Promised Land been a thing though in Australia? I, I'm sorry for my ignorance, but like, I don't know. I'm not. Is, sure is, is, is this I the second year? I don't. I don't think it's like a mm. big thing. It's not like yeah. it's not. Yeah, it hasn't been around for a while. But like I said, like in, within their first year, like but of it was course, two, it was two days, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. That must be a big. But fucking th- big that's what I'm saying. Is like you know, it, it is like first couple of years, and I'd love to so, sort of see, like the team, like do more in the next five or ten years, and see how their festival develops. You know what I mean? It'll be like, better. Yeah, regardless of like all the pullouts with Burner Boy and Tion Wayne and they still manage to get blast, you know. It'll get and, to um, a point it'll get to a point when like they have like one day for like new yeah new artists and then the second day well if they do mm. another two day thing and then the second day will be like OGs. Yeah, because for Because sure. people that are going to Promised Land, like, love like reggae and stuff. So mm. like it'll be good to see like, you know, like triple O G like you know, like the Whalers or like fucking, <laughs> yeah, you know, like Maxi Priest or like someone yeah. play. Because like we've got Ragamuffin back home, which is like super dope, which is like a big deal. Mm. But it'll be cool to have something like yeah. that over here. But crazy though, um, so the day, so I think we're, we were alluding to this, like listen out and, to, and Promised Land happening the same sort of day. Mm. And I think it was the last day that something happened. Um, UK rapper Central C... Did a set at Listen Out. Yeah. And, then and they, oh, they paid yeah. him and then he did the and Promised Land. Bro. Same day. The words through the great vine, somebody dropped a crazy bag on Central C's lap. So he would make uh, the transport from Brisbane, but Listen Out, to Promised Land I mean, in the Gold Coast. Bro, and saying that too, bro, he played early. Yeah. So he, he could have made it, bro. And it's a yeah. fucking hop, skip, and a jump, my yeah. G. And he did. He didn't make it, bro. He made an appearance for like 10, 15 minutes. And, and he could have flown out from fucking Gold yeah. Coast. They could have like changed flights yeah. and he could have flown out from Gold Coast like that mm. day. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's dope. Like, you know, he he he, went, he played two he played two festivals. Bro, I have friends that went to Promised Land on the Saturday yeah. and then they went to fucking Listen Out on the Sunday. I was like, that's hectic. I thought that's I was crazy. hectic, bro, but that's hectic. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like, you know, Central C to play two festival at once and getting a bag. Smart. Just because, like, damn, I got spare cash. Like, two of my artists pulled many, out. I want to know how many songs. I want to know how 
how, uh, yeah, how much the nice. bag was. Actually, I mean, bro, it yeah. would have been a lot. The, the bag, is, the, the the money is definitely six figures. Yeah. Well, but I mean, someone the, if someone doesn't, if, mean, some, if someone doesn't turn up, bro, yeah. the outrage was real. The outrage for Promised Land was real. Yeah, oh, 100%, and it started bro. with buying a boy a week earlier. Mm-hmm. And I, had, I had so it, many it got, friends selling got, their. I had so many friends. Sorry, bro. Sorry, I had so many friends selling their fucking tickets like online. Yeah. Sorry, G, that was my bad. That was <laughs> like really Fight. interrupting. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Every sorry, t- every time you're in the same with this guy's cut me off. Every time I've said sorry, something, yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> well, I'm used to having someone cut me off over here, but he's not here today. Yeah. <laughs> this guy had two weeks off, eh? Can't, <laughs> can't wait to start till he again, eh? So much shit happened. Oh, so. I haven't had enough. I haven't had enough. Of it. I haven't had enough. <laughs> too much to say in the two <laughs> Is that enough we're back, we're back, we're back. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. back to the reaction video yeah. right. when you're like, oh, cut me out of this. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, oh, I don't even know where I was leading to for it, but yeah, nah. I mean, I feel, I feel like hopefully we get, you know, yeah. some more, you know, uh, security for everyone in terms yeah. of the event. Like the promoters don't feel like the act's gonna pull out, and yeah. then the. The people believe the yeah. promo- like promoters to say that these artists mm. are actually coming for this event on this date, and, yeah. and you know it's it's a hard one for everyone. Yeah. It's like it's hard for sure. It's not one person's problem. Yeah. It's like just been a problem throughout the last ten fifteen years. Yeah. Bro, for exactly. Sure. Like last ten fifteen years, yeah. like Rick Ross at like um fuck there was some festival for like Ice Cube and huh. shit. <clears throat> yeah, and exactly. the thing is like you know he pulled out, and then like even like what fucking Young Thug pulling out mm. and fucking listen out, which is sucky. Right, and this festival, Promised Land, is ran by, like, people from Brisbane. You know what I mean? Like, of course, we'd want to see, like, them yeah, prosper, like, in the next five, ten years. And it could be the next Superfest, like, you know what I mean? Like, the hardest thing oh, is, like, was yeah. the hardest yeah. thing is us as, like, either people, you know, like, somewhat, you know, like, interested in music mm. and, you know, in the industry and, and things of that nature. We want to see it win, you know yeah. what I mean? But the hardest thing is that, it's not really up to us yeah. to make it win. It's like they have to do right by the average Joe yep. that wants to come out to these shows. 100%. And you can't, you can't, um, yeah. you can't let them down. If one yeah. artist or two artists get pulled out, no matter the magnitude, mm. it is a, it is yeah. a crippling effect should, on everything I else. I feel like you should be, you know, there should be a leniency when it comes to refunds when X, num- X amount of artists pull out. They get refunds. Within the next, um, but well, within the like week of this festival, I don't know what the refund policy was during that festivals. I feel but like when they say that this person's pulled out, you should be able to get the mm. refund, but you can't get a refund like two weeks yeah. before or like a week before yeah. the joint. Yeah, but yeah. the thing about it this way though, because a lot of like the, I'm sure there would have been people from Melbourne that would have flown to Gold Coast, booked their accommodation, yeah, accommodation, that's the booked thing. their flight, there's a lot, there's took a lot annual insulin. leaves off, you know. And bro, they can't can't like. Although if they were able to refund it, their their um, promised land ticket, they wouldn't be able to like refund like accommodation and flights yeah, or you can't, you an can't annual just, leave. You know, yeah. So, but you yeah. still come to the Sunshine State and fucking chill. Yeah, hundred percent. Think some forex gold. <laughs> yeah, dead ass. Um, yeah, but it, it, it's hard to it's hard to with that shit because like. When you buy a fucking ticket, like me going to festivals and stuff, like when I mm. buy a ticket, like I'm so amped for this. And yeah. like, I think there's been cancellations within like the last, what, 10, 15 years or like what Lisa said. But like, one of them was like Rick Ross. And mm. we got a text message on our phone while we're in the bus on the way to the event. Uh, yeah. Because you couldn't get in. But in saying that too, like, Surely, there should be some way for like the organizers to suss out their visas within that mm. time to make sure that they can come yeah. or not. Because I mean, half it's half of it, half of it is like half of it is like fucking like you know criminal charges in yeah, America. But it, yeah. The thing is, bro, it's visas. Like they don't care. Like they're they're yeah. not gonna like speed run it for anyone. No, yeah. no. What I'm saying is that like when uh, um when a when someone that books an artist, they should suss out to mm. see if they can come to the country before they suss them out. Like, it's, it's before the announcement type thing. It's yeah. too hard though. Like yeah. it's not it's it's not even like on this like they have to do it over there. You know what I mean? In the country that they're from. Like it's not like the promoters have any control over Yeah, but I would ask. 
I'll mm. be like, I'll be like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, book, yeah, but it's, I'm book, it's not, I'm book. it's not so easy to do that because, like I said, like let's say you do do that, you're on the phones twenty four seven, like bro, you're on hold like for hours and hours on end, like just yeah. to get communications to even, uh, yeah, also, yeah. like it's not the manager, up, like you think the about, manager won't yeah, come like back it's and just, other shit. yeah, yeah it's not, great. it's not something, and mm. they're not gonna do it for a festival, like it's not that important yeah. to do anything for, you know, like they don't care I've, at all. I've, yeah, for, I also yeah. heard that um, despite the cancellation, oh, like the cancellation with Tion Wayne and Burner Boy, they they were trying to replace those two artists with another two um, Afrobeat artists. Mm. Um, it just like there was no flights. Too, yeah, it's there too was hard. no flights it's, could go bro, time that going close, out to Nigeria. That close, bro, is so yeah. fucking hard, bro. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Like you know, with maybe next year, like they we can see a big redemption. And if one particular artist is there, I'm there, bro. V V I P. You know it was saying? wild that it was two days though for like <laughs> a really early fucking like festival. Yeah. All right, so this 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 is this episode is officially called cancelled because I realize everything that we're talking cancelled. about has to do with yeah. cancels and cancellations. Yes. So the next subject that we're gonna talk about is uh, it, it's a lot of different people that intertwine in this. Oh my gosh! All right, go so. On. You know, there was a lot of flack because the baby just recently dropped the album, yeah. and he pretty much said that they're that he's being blackboard. Yeah, that he's the every every platform isn't you know promoting him. Mm. They're shadow banning him. These all these phrases are being used. Um, Russ came out and said, "There's no such thing as being." Blackballed. blackballed. Fuck like, Russ. If you have a social media account, if you have an Instagram account, if you have a YouTube account. Then you have fans that you can get the, you know, the record out to, and yeah. you know you right. can if you have a real yeah. fan base, you're gonna they're gonna find yeah. you. But I, I disagree with that. Though. And then Tory Lanez chimed in, and a lot of a lot of people t- chimed yeah. in. You know, some people agreeing with Russ, some people slightly disagreeing with Russ, yeah. some people telling the baby like there's more than one reason why yeah. you're blackballed. Yeah. <laughs> like there's a, a whole bunch of things that, you know, has transpired over the last couple of years. And that's why you're at a place where you're at. For um, sure. In terms of like album sales mm. and, you know, like people promoting your music. Right. So do we, what do we believe? Do we believe you can be blackballed or do we, you can cause be- like someone like NBA young boy, right. Yeah. There's been a, a thing for years and years yeah. about how DSPs have been, not showing mm. his stuff, the out, the out, like the label hasn't been helping back it, and he just and he signed keeps to young, num- and he, he signed, keeps doing numbers, and he signed to fucking no. um, cash money now, bro. All right, so thirty eight thousand degrees. I can't wait for it. I um, it's out. It's already out. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah, it's bro. Not. I disagree with Russ though. You know what I mean? Fuck Russ. Because think about it this way. Of course, you have Instagram, YouTube. You've got like social media to promote yourself, but these are. These tools are there for your core fans. You know what I mean? And DSP promotions and like playlisting is there for your core fans and for also like other people that might not be aware of the music that you make. This is why people aim for playlisting. So when people put a playlist on, they're hoping that, you know, they would catch a listener's ear and be like, oh, hey, who this? Like, you know what I mean? Like so, somebody new. Right? Let me let me peep all these catalog on out. the drip or something. Mate. Yeah, something you know what I mean. Up. So yeah, yeah. of course, there's such things as being blackballed, bro. And like, so you're saying, you, but Russ but, has never been blackballed in his whole life because his music is so easily fucking mm. consumable. But, uh, he, but, he also hasn't done anything wrong to exactly. be cancelled and stuff and, like and that. And he hasn't had any. He does. He's not from this. He, well, I don't know if he is mm. from the streets or done street shit. I can see it from two points of view because yeah, technically you. You can't be fully blackballed unless you're someone mm. that is fully removed of like every R. platform. Kelly. Yeah. Like <laughs> well, like someone like Trump. <laughs> yeah. Someone like sure. Trump is like he's not available like he's not accessible on anything right now. No, not at all. Or someone all. like Andrew Tate. Yeah. He's not accessible on anything at yeah. all right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Even in Patreon? Whereas, I don't think he has one. I think he's on this whole new Damn, platform. Yeah. Sure he's got a Patreon um, with Adam twenty two. But so 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 I can get like that's that's blackboard because yeah. he's like no Instagram, no TikTok, no YouTube. Nothing. Like, really? Andrew Tate, he's not yeah. he's not accessible. Oh, he that's doesn't crazy. doesn't have an account, and people that actually put up his content can be flagged oh. even. Yeah. Buzzing. So um, that is that is that's ex- a different. That's so I get like what we what we might be saying is is the baby blackboard 
on DSPs. Yeah. Or like Tory Lane is Tory Lane's blackboard on DSPs, mm. which I believe is true. It is true. But I get how Russ says you can't take because you still have accessibility to your yeah. core fans for them to find the music. That, it's course. still on the platform. It's yeah. just not being promoted on the platform. Yeah. But in saying that too, in saying that too, if they're blackboard on like DSPs because of their um but to yeah. me, blackboard blackboard means you can't even be on like their mm. their albums are on the platform, bro. So, yeah, but yeah. What I'm so it's is like I, to me, it's like like I'm a I'm a I'm an artist. I don't feel entitled to be on a playlist. There's mm. eighty slots, eighty yeah. to hundred slots. There's only eighty to hundred songs. I'm not gar- like I'm not guaranteed. Yeah, you know, like there's a lot of things with these artists where it's like they feel entitled to every playlist yeah. or every, but you can't be. It's like but. the best eighty or hundred songs are gonna make it. Like I could, I could say that about every other release from the rest. Of, yeah, I could sure. say I'm blackballed, just based on that yeah. metric. But because, of, but, but I'm, I'm able to put my music on the DSP. But also, this is the thing of like how, I guess Tory Lanez got blackballed by the DSP was Fuck Tory when Lanes. Playboy came out and the album after that. When you go on um, on his profile. It's not even showing, bro. What's this for? Tory Lanez? Tory Lanez, yeah. So, like, there was a time when there was a Playboy one, and yeah. there's another album that he dropped after that, or before that. that the Daystar Lanez, one. The Daystar, yeah. So, yeah. there's Daystar and, like, um, the Playboy. Yeah. When you go to his profile, the when you scroll down where his um, album discography is, you would have to actually, like, click and, and click, uh, click view all. So you can see all of it. All the albums, but if yeah. you just scroll down, you would have you if you didn't know that Tory Lanez had dropped an album, you wouldn't know because the, the very first album that you that you would have seen was the new Toronto Three, which was like his last album with the label. Yeah. And the independent albums that he dropped is it's nowhere a tricky to be found. One. It's a tricky one because like I said, I do believe to say that your blackboard is something like you're not even yeah, you're not on but platform. What's, what's the blackboard like inclusive of like being blackboard? Is it like your albums are like on, and then I mean that it's it's all it's all it's all personal it's all personal opinion. Like but you can say your you can say it, but I have another question. I have another question too. So like, if he releases like another album, does that go straight up, or is it not just sent to like the? Top I mean, it's it's case, by, it's case like, by case, bro. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like it's less of a like, you know, to me, the only like black and white. Like for sure, for sure. If you're blackboard, is if you can't even be found on something. Mm. Yeah, that's my like, or, like, or you can't even post. Like, but removed. that's the thing. They're, 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 you can get mm. to it on the platform. But like, and yeah. then what I'm asking is, is that like because you can find them on the platform when they release like a new album, is it still there? And then obviously like, who, who baby? The baby. baby. The baby's album is still there and still mm. like easily accessible, and it comes up in like new releases. Yeah. Like you get well, what I mean? that, that's what I'm saying. Like with Tory Lanez's album when he was blackboard, it wouldn't even come up when your releases were exactly is so because of the yeah the alleged. But that, situation. like that's what like this is my like I said I keep I keep saying it, but like if you can get to it, yeah, then to me it's You're not, not a full it's not mm. a full like it's not so black and white. Yeah, if they delete yeah. you, but if you if you don't have internet. if you yeah. can't even like if you can't even upload it on yeah. there. Yeah. That's the for sure, yeah. for sure. Your black yeah. boy, you yeah, can't get on it. Uh, I, let's just say maybe because everything yeah. else is just like a bit of a gray area, yeah. which is unfortunate because I do believe that they're being limited. I was for about sure, to say, yeah, platform. restricted and limited. So yeah. I feel like that it's less be about being black formed and more about like capped. Yeah, yeah, capped. Yeah. Not not giving but full so- access to what you're providing yeah. on the platform. It happened with XXX Tentacion when he was going through like heaps of allegations and charges. Yeah, well that's when Kendrick said I'll, I'll remove all my music if you remove XXX. Mm. And then you look at and then you look at the baby like he dropped a new album, he's going to do numbers. No, I didn't though. No. That's why this conversation happened. Oh, is it this? Yeah, yeah it didn't. Well, it didn't, it didn't happen. I'll, it didn't. It didn't get numbers, and then because I didn't see like, anything, mm. nothing came up. Nothing until, came up at until, all until like you. Like yeah. I remember, like you obviously like raving about it, and like not me, it. Gene. I but, but I followed the baby, bro, and like wasn't it not you? Oh, little baby. No, little baby. Yeah. You're waiting for. I'm waiting yeah. for little baby, bro. Oh, sorry. Um. So. Keep doing I, it. I followed Sorry. the baby right on Instagram, and I don't think I've actually seen any rollouts. Nah, nothing. Or anything from him. If I'm just scrolling down, I would have had to gone to 
to his profile to see his rollout and like advertising. I had like, to go to new releases to see it in my fucking Spotify. Yeah. Well, at least like it's the new releases one. But in saying that, I feel like the baby got these numbers just not because he's blackballed, but I definitely feel like that I gave it I gave it a good listen. You know, like, and it sounds like one whole song. <laughs> Like yeah, I, haven't, I haven't listened to it. <laughs> Just made another one. No, nope. he made exactly the same board? one. <laughs> it's 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 it is disappointing because I felt like he had had one of the better sounds in the last couple of years, 100%. and I felt like he had a really like prosperous career that yes. was about to happen. And I felt like the you know if I'm being honest, like this might be a hot take, but like Jack Harlow came up off of that sound. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, sure. the what was was popping was a Jetson maybe it is. yeah and right the flow after, yeah, yeah. The right mix. after like the baby just popped off with it yeah and that's no no knock to Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow like that was the sound of the time yeah. but like that's what I mean the baby yeah. had the sound of the time yeah. and it's, it's just unfortunate to see like I would have had had liked to have seen a a better yeah. uh, a better run you know it's it's the, the life outside of music that really got him I think and yeah is the baby the one that was like hey, I'm not no 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 we're not gonna go we've done this for ten episodes yeah. I'm not gonna explain to you who the baby is and the baby is bro baby. listen to you Kurt. do this in your own time not in my time bro we've done this so many times not gonna no no don't even bro, explain no. don't explain anything bro, to, about the baby and the baby. to Kirk the album Kirk by <laughs> by the baby. Nah, he's black ball, bro. He's dope, to him. bro. He, he, that well, album go. is dope. They should be both. They should not even like. Whenever yeah. we talk about these two people, they don't even talk about it. I'm trying to jump into you guys' conversation. Well, then learn about the baby and little baby, then, bro. Well, I'm not going to. Well, then and don't talk about it. I'm waiting for a little baby. <laughs> you're blackballed right yeah, now. Like, turn- <laughs> the mic's gone. Your mic is gone. Your your. <laughs> this is what, take it this away. is what being blackballed is like. You yeah, haven't done. <laughs> just got blackboard cancelled. <laughs> oh. I want to give you a terrible review on your next That's fucking so video. Funny, uh, bro. Um, yeah. all right. Well, let's go to um. No, you I don't know, want to. After that, let's go to let's go to uh, what's we'll about? Do we want to stay on cancellations or do we want to upload? Bro, I'm all for it, bro. Yeah, go on go, go another cancellation, bro. Tell us all about right, cancellation. Well, you, you had some news about V line. Oh yes! I'm gonna break the news about V-Line. Oh, bro, this is crazy. You, you got the most insight, and you know, you so bring you know that shit. Us. So you know that shit. I I know enough, I think, and I know um I got I got speculations of why it happened. So break it fully down. Yeah. So me. one morning I was just on Instagram and I saw Ian Connor like flaming Bari, or yeah. Young Lord. Yeah. And I tell you what, man, when uh, I was formerly a part of ASAP Mob, formally. Yeah, formally. But I tell you what, bro, when I was young, like 17 to like 21. Dead ass. Bro, I, I looked up to these guys, you know, freshest guys, got me into clothing and whatnot. I used to think like Ian Connor, Ace Bari. The revenge songs were, cool. were hot. Yeah, honestly, bro. But anyway, woke up and Ian, Ian Connor was like flaming Bari. And I guess they've just had like a really bad relationship in the last like maybe five, four, four or five years, you know? Like disagreements and everything. Like Ian has now his own brand called Sicko, which yeah. you see Drake sporting it, um, Young Thug and everybody. And it's hard. Yeah, yeah. It's you hard. know, and Bari, you know, like he managed like back then Drake would wear his shit. Young Thug would wear his shit, right? But he's always been V Lone, bro. He did pop ups in Australia. Pops up with Hi Mom like you uh, Hi Mom, I'm dead. Yeah. From Byron Bay or Sydney? Yeah. Like, uh, Perth. Perth, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shout out Paulie. Yeah, Paulie, that's his name. Yeah, like- Shout like, out the big dog. Yeah, there, you would have seen it. Like, There's a photo of them, the, the whole ASAP collective in- The um, graffiti, the, the like, drawn on like jackets. Yeah. And, like, flames and shit. He, just, he like, started- for all of them. He started some crazy shit, bro. He was, you would have seen the photo of like ASAP Rocky, Playboy Cardi wearing like Paulie shit at during Coachella back in the days. So you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that one photo, it's a group photo, and yeah. In the flame shit, yeah, man. And like, you know, he did a collaboration with V Lone, you know what I mean? And so, let's think, let's let's just track back to where it all happened. There was this allegation with um, ASAP Barry. Well, I don't know if it's, and, yeah, I think he's Connor. got found guilty. Ian Connor, Ian Connor, Ian Connor had yeah. the same, fucking same thing. thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is what happened. So, Ian Connor had the same thing, and Barry, like bad mouth him you know calling him a rapist type thing you know 
and just literally like praying, like just kicking a dog when it's his down, you know? Yeah. And when Bari caught the same case, Ian Connor had like, you know what I mean? He had to get it back, get, get him back for it, you know? And um, um, there's a footage of Asa Bari like assaulting this woman um, on the, in the bathroom or something. All I remember was like hearing this lady saying like, Bari, stop. And he just goes in the bathroom and does what he does, you know? But so with, when that happened, I think this, was, this happened in the UK and we, 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 it was with an Australian woman too. And when this happened, bro, Nike dropped V-Loan, bro. Remember those Air yeah, Forces? Air Force. Yeah, the yeah. black joints but they were gonna with be the red tech. Yeah, man. He was like the dapper down of this generation, bro. You know? That exact fucking word, bro, that exact name is exactly right? what he was supposed to be, G. Right? He the, was for so bro, long, bro. I don't, I don't wear his stuff. I never, ever wanted to wear his stuff. But I just thought, like, you had the whole culture right in your palm, bro. v was just like fucking anti-social social club to so many kids, bro. Bro, anti-social like, club ain't nothing compared to v bro. No, but you get what I mean, though? Like, yeah. it's either you wear, like, an anti-social t-shirt, yeah. uh, off-white X t-shirt, or a V-Lone oh, t-shirt. V-Lone, bro. That like, v would sell out like it's nothing, you know what I mean? People would get V tatted on them just because they wanted to be a part of that bro, movement. Bro, ASAP's got it tatted behind his fucking ear, bro. A$AP, bro, Ian Connor's got it in between his eyes, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And anyway, long story short, I didn't know that Bari has sold portions of the company to other investors, right? And of course, like as a group, as a company, you wouldn't want to have these allegations or these drama like around your company. And this man, if found guilty, I don't know if he is found guilty to be associated with your brand, you know, sporting your, your brand. And, and being the face. Being the face, yeah. Even though he came up with the shit. Yeah. And the shit, like, was, like, the triple OG. Yeah, Didn't man. even need to sell it to other investors. Yeah. Like, he should have just held it himself. Yeah, bro. Like, see, if, 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 if I'm putting a million dollars in your company and you're being, like, mm. a piece of crap, mm. I, I want to take care of that million dollars and make it, and double it, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't want to risk it. But, yeah, I, I mean... That's all I've known so far. He's, he got kicked out. There was a um, a big post on V on V Loans yeah, Instagram. That was crazy. That yeah. full write up was wild, and it was an anonymous person. It was just V Loan. It, it wasn't an anonymous person, but it was an actual. It was the actual V Loan account, bro. Yeah. So no, but what I'm saying is, it, it wasn't, wasn't like someone. He's saying oh, it wasn't yeah. written from someone. It wasn't like someone's name. It was just oh, like yeah. V Loan said, like we don't yeah. so and so mess with this person who doesn't do so and so, and then yeah. yeah that's tough, man. Yeah. Especially like, with V-Loan too, bro. And like, with Bari too, like, him and ASAP were supposed to like start this, um, they're supposed to start like a fucking gene brand called- Endless. Pra- nah, yeah. nah. It was Pray to the, uh, Pray to the God, mm. Pray to the Gods or Prosper to the Gods. And ASAP says it in his earlier songs. He's like, Denim- Praise to the gods. Anyway, like, they're supposed to start that, and then they were supposed to be, like, these crazy jeans that were, like, you know, like, fully, like, distressed. With like, like, lasered. Like, 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 ripped up with, like, dollar sign, yeah. bandana prints, and all that sort of shit. And then they didn't do that. And then Bari started fucking V-Loan and did all those crazy mm. jeans. He did V-Loan, and he did Endless. Endless denim. Like, bro, them things go for, like, reselling, like, a oh, thousand. Oh, does he do Endless, too? Yeah, a thousand to two thousand dollars in gray. Oh, bullshit. Bro. Yeah. Even like the fucking V loan joints are crazy. Yeah, man. That, that's what I mean. Like V loan, V loan had everybody on lock in, in like from 2017 to around 2021, bro. They were like Chrome Hearts before Chrome Hearts like came back. You exactly. Know? <laughs> and then Chrome Hearts was hard for like fucking 30, oh, yeah. for like fucking 30 years before. Yeah, 100%. Like, you know, which is wild but, to me. Yeah, man. Then I guess like when, st- when you're, you're at that level and you mess up, and you do like demonous evil things, it will definitely catch up. And, yeah, don't you know. do that shit, bro. Just be fucking cool. Yeah, chill out. You're you're a fucking you're a fashion designer that makes the mm. craziest shit. You don't need to be this weird certain way. Like you've got <coughs> like women running yeah. around you, but then you still treat them like shit, bro. Get the fuck out. One hundred percent, bro. Yeah. Like that's 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 it's, what it, that's the lesson there. You know, it's not cricket. 
Like how much? No matter yeah, how much. This is definitely uh, the cancellation, Shay. But let's wrap. Let's wrap this up. Let's do yes. um, in rotation. So uh, in we'll rotation. start with Dead Skin Sane this time with in rotation. What's in your rotation? Bro, Rome <laughs> Streets, kiss the ring, dead ass. Let's go straight up. The hardest album you ever hear this fucking year. Everybody talks about fucking Freddie Gibbs. Everybody talks about all these other people, but it's fucking Rome Streets, my G. Bro, it's the hardest shit. Most of it's produced by Conductor. There's a Derringer. Conductor? Fuck. There's a, yeah, Conductor, do we have a problem? Conductor, we have a problem. There's like a Derringer um, production on it. There is Alchemist on it. You've got fucking uh, Westside Gun. You've got Conway. Most of it's fucking just Rome Streets, and it's Rome Streets as a triple OG talking his shit with that grimy rap shit. So, like, it's not for everyone, but everybody needs to listen to it because sure. as soon as you listen to it, that's you. Hard. You want to get next or you want me to get Yeah, next? so I've been listening to Temps a lot. <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Bro, it's crazy. I tell you what. If, in, in particular, there's this song called Luku Luku by Thames. Is and it the, new or is it old? It's old, but I, I, I only found out about this song is because I was watching the NPR live mm. and she played this song and I'm like, what is this song? It's fire. Mm. And yeah, I've just been cranking Thames for like the last two weeks, man. Yeah. It's just a good break from like all the trap and. You know, like knowing, like you know, you know, I get to work with a lot of trap music and a lot yeah, of artists and drill. And yeah. when I'm just chilling at home or going for a drive, like I want to have some peaceful music. And actually, Snow Allegra. Okay, yeah, remember, yeah. Remember, she's hard, bro. Yeah, she's dope. So, she's like, as yeah, dope. I'm looking for for a, a new project from her. Yeah. Too. Um, I got one to annoy. Uh, that's insane. But Freddie Gibbs is in my rotation. I oh haven't, yeah, I haven't, yeah. I haven't listened to. I haven't listened to the Rome Street. The Pusha T. The Pusha T. The Pusha T. Yeah, the Pusha the Pusha crazy. Crazy. yeah the there's, beat? there's some tracks. That the Justice League one. There's a Justice League <laughs> producer. I don't know exactly which one that is. But the other person, which is the sleeper out of my in rotation, is Fabulous. What? He's been dropping Shout some. Triple he's OG. been dropping some joints on his YouTube. Shout wow. Like so. Remixes, or he'll like. Like full, just like remixes on the original beat, and mm. then there's full remixes of like, like get this sample, chop it up, fire. Like it makes it, um, and the 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 thing is that's coming is the soul tape. Oh wow, so cool. new soul tape on the cool. way. So yeah, so that's my sleeper one, fabulous, mm -hmm. fabulous is. It's like you know, I, I think I said it earlier on in, the, in in this yeah. podcast, and I said you know one of the most underrated, underrated of yeah, all 100%. time. And it's like it's some, fabulous, and it's like some like OG like fucking street like mixtape. He's just shit. so versatile, bro. Mm. Like when you really peep how versatile he is, like that, he's versatile. That tape with fucking kiss, so. like bro, he's got too many. Too that show many. with kiss is hard. Might be most underrated rapper of all time, in my opinion. Dead ass. But um, had the big chains. Had, but yeah. Had the two chains before two chains. Yeah. <laughs> bro, straight up. Uh, any closing remarks? Hey man, like I said, um, subscribe to the Culture Kings website for in the bag. Yeah. Well versed Culture podcast. Kings presents. Yes. Yeah, hopefully uh, Bills won't be here next week, so we'll be here. <laughs> Little Baby's album should be out by the time we ah. do our next episode. Which so one is that? It's dropping this album. <laughs> was it dropping this Friday, isn't it? Yeah, this Friday is dropping. Ah man, wait the ah damn. See the twisty next or the we'll talk about it because he's got a, I know week. he's got a whole lot. Features. to talk about. See the about twisty or the no, I'm just kidding. But he's got features that I like. I'll mm, listen to I'm the. I promise you, I'll that. listen to the whole no. thing, and I probably won't tell them about. Oh, you would, bro. Honestly. It's actually super easy to tell them apart, but anyway. Yeah. Is it? it is. Yeah, 100%. It is. But, um, but yeah, uh, we'll be we're back every week until, I don't know when our cutoff date is for this this year. I forgot again. Yeah. But make sure you subscribe, like, comment. You know, 40 episodes deep. Woo! Over 40 episodes deep. You know. Giving you hours of content, hours and hours and hours. And there's going to be more reactions yes, on the sir. way. A whole bunch of different content on the way. But make sure you subscribe and comment down below. Mm hmm Also, wait, right, Keegan, have you passed that thing to Gene yet? Oh, yeah, it's here. Keep it well versed. <laughs>